you had me at zombie torsos. Warp hugs. We are here for Kentucky Ballistics, and it is really disturbing to see a man that size wearing a blonde wig. I'm just saying. I I'm just saying. He's in his new location here. This is the, and you can see in the background, guys, being introduced to the punt gun was something extremely special. I will write home about it. The thing was insane. You can see back there in the back the armored car that he shot the punt gun with, and he put a few holes in it. And I did see some comments saying that, um, you know, I guess it's not that heavily armored, stuff like that. Guys, it's a field piece. Okay? It's a nine-foot-long field piece with a six-foot barrel. It launches massive rounds. You know, me and another guy got up, uh, got back and forth into it over the shell that passed through the driver's seat, dude. If that happened with me in there, you don't have to worry about it. I don't. I don't just need, you know. I, I'm not walking out of there fine. I'm walking out of there with a need for new pants and a really heavy therapy bill, guys. Today though. He has the 550 JDJ Fat Mac, which is, I think, one of the first guns I ever saw him fire, versus zombie torsos. My God, I'm here for this. War Pugs is Kentucky Ballistics. It's standard Kentuckian behavior. We're going to get into this. All of his links are going to be in the description down below. Please go check him out. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Big circle. Little circles, big circles, oh, reverse circles. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm warming up. What's it look like I'm doing? I'm shooting the 950 today, aren't I? He just go into something like that cold. Ugh, almost got him. Ugh, almost there. Oh yeah. Out. Yeah. Uh, uh. What is that? The smelly sauce. Haven't you seen all the big power lifters? They take a big old whiff of this before they lift something heavy. Like your mom. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm shooting the 950 today. Prepare for shoulder pain. Oh, What's up, everybody? Pain. My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And Oorah. ever since I posted the 950 JDJ two months ago, that is literally all you all can comment about. Has it really just been two months? Has it really just... Scott, when are you going to shoot the 950 again? Scott, shoot the 950 again. Well, guess what? I don't want to shoot the 950 again. It kicks really hard. You're not the one shooting it. I am. You know I'm just joking. I am the king of recoil, and I <clears throat> eat recoil for breakfast. Yes. The real reason I have been waiting to shoot the 950 again is this. These are what we've been shooting. These are 2,500 grain 950 JDJ brass solids. This right here, though, is what I've been waiting on. This okay. is a 2,600 grain lead hollow point. Needless to say, today... What are you shooting that you need a lead hollow point out of the 950? We are going to be delivering a lot of energy to some very... I got this thing is highlighted. I don't know why. There we go. Unfortunate zombie torsos. If you do not know about the 950 JDJ, let me give you a little rundown. So there are only three 950 JDJ Fat Mac rifles in the entire world. This is the largest sporting rifle ever made. It has a 31 inch barrel, including the muzzle brake, weighs 50 pounds, and is producing upwards of 300 pounds of felt recoil. Uh, she be kicking. Oh God. Um. This is gonna hurt my feelings to watch. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have sympathetic pain 
and it's already developing in my right shoulder. This is a single shot bolt action rifle that fires a bullet that measures 0 .950 inches in diameter, weighs 2,500 grains, and is gonna be traveling at 2,400 feet per second. That means this is gonna be producing upwards of 25,000 foot pounds of energy. This thing makes a 50 BMG look like a 22 plinking rifle. So I have two My things God. to say about the first video we filmed with the 950 JDJ Fat Mac. One, I said 950 JDJ way too many times, and I'm gonna try really hard this video to cut it at least in half. Okay. And the second thing is I shot a lot of targets in that video, but one target I did not shoot and I really wanted to shoot was a steel target. And the reason why is we only had these brass solid rounds. These are right. meant to penetrate and not deform. And shooting one of these at that is a perfect recipe for a ricochet, a really big ricochet. Yeah. <laughs> but now we have the opportunity to actually smack a piece of steel with the 950 JDJ because we have some 2600 grain lead hollow points. I don't know if that's so going to stop it on blasting zombie torsos let's blast this piece of steel let's let's go I dislocate my shoulder for your entertainment <laughs> I have something very cool to tell you about this Saturday I am going to be doing a meet and greet at the 511 store in Nashville Tennessee hey. right now 511 is giving you 20% off when you use code 511 KYB online or in any of their retail stores this is how far away am I from Nashville? That'd be neat. That would be neat. It's valid June 12th through June 30th. Now you can do your shopping online or in another retail. I just remembered I'm probably moving on sometime next. Oh my God, this move is screwing with me. Shut it up. Store or this Saturday, June 15th, you can swing by the 511 store in Nashville, Tennessee between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Meet me and pick up some last minute Father's Day gifts. Just be sure to use code 511KYB to get 20% off. That is in any retail store or online up until June 30th or this Saturday when you come to meet me. Now, let's go damage my shoulder with the world's largest sporting rifle. <sighs> okay, let's get this large firearm loaded up with a very large hollow point <laughs> my God. jesus i would not want to be that steel target right now i won't want to be anywhere Woo! around the steel target all right it's time to ride the lightning <laughs> oh. here we go oh holy cow knock that thing over Holy yeah. Cow. Oh yeah, that felt good. He almost hit his head. Oh my god. I shot a steel target with the four bore and we snapped the two by four in half that was holding the steel target. Today, I was not using a target that utilized a two by four. These are all steel and they are leaned forward. They are not meant to fall over. They are actually quite heavy and it's very hard to get one of these things to actually tip over. I've never seen it happen before. But when we hit this, with the 950 JDJ Fat Mac with a 2,600 grain lead bullet. It was like this thing was hit by an NFL linebacker. Look at this splatter. This is nuts. This is My such God. a big area of damage. And this thing hit the ground really hard. Like we tore up a lot of dirt. I was really hoping that we could find some of the bullet, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It looks like it all just disintegrated. But the one thing that did not disintegrate. A lot of yelling in the background. A lot of yelling. And I'm sitting here just looking. I thought he bent the frame. Like, I didn't see how the frames were made. I thought he actually bent the frame of this thing when he hit it.
was the energy. I mean, that is some real big bore energy. Yep. First table throw at the new range. Yay! Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, I'm more of a point blank guy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So if you're gonna use the world's largest sporting rifle and shoot some zombie torsos, I feel like you need more than one. <laughs> so today, we don't have one, okay. but two Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie torsos. By the way, I did some checking. I did some checking on one of the one of the things I checked out for him before. You can buy a ballistics gel T Rex, a ballistics gel T Rex. So you can shoot a ballistics uh, gel T Rex with a Tyrannosaur. Why he hasn't done this yet, I don't know. But you can do it. That was a really good slap. If you've never seen these before, they have lifelike flesh, bones, organs, and have been zombified with green blood. I've shot these with just about everything, but one thing we have not shot them with is a 950. And now we are gonna blast both of these things. What I'm thinking is, first we use the brass solid and we see if we can make it through both of them. And then whichever one is fresher will get moved to the front. And we're gonna hit it with the lead hollow point and after seeing what it did to that oh steel target God. i am very excited to see what our results are going to be there's going to be nothing left of the first one there's going to be nothing left of it i want this gun in left for dead 2 tomorrow okay here we go Oh. oh, man. Things that just hurt you to watch. Oh, my God. How it feels to chew five gum. Oh, wow. Just... There's nothing left to... Oh, my God. It doesn't look like there's much left of those zombie torsos. Also, not much left of my shoulder. <laughs> oh, okay, well, it, mm, I may have needed more than two zombie torsos. You Looks may like have. zombie number two got it worse than zombie number one. I've actually never seen it happen like this before. So, we have a giant hole right here. And I right. want to add that the 950 JDJ is sighted in quite well. It is dead on. That is exactly where I was aiming. And then we have a pretty big hole out the back now here we literally knocked this thing in half i've never seen this happen before i've seen some really big energy transfers but typically it takes a few shots from something to do this i've yeah. never seen one just get knocked in half right off the bat that thing looked like it got hit by an rpg okay so uh, i'm guessing we hit somewhere in here and oh my gosh uh, yeah that's just there's just nothing left take some motrin you'll be fine you'll be fine stop stop complaining just take some motrin you'll be fine left that good that's god I believe maybe it's that hole that's a pretty big hole wow that is quite the crater um holy cow that's really deep. Oh 
Okay, now it's time to hit what's left of those zombie torsos with the 2,600 grain 950 JDJ hollow point. And this thing is going to evaporate I'm actually kind of sad them. because I thought the brass solid would zip through both and then we'd still have plenty of zombie for this shot. But it looks like we're only going to have one zombie. And here soon, we're going to have no zombies. Right. Okay, here we go your shoulder. Oh, babe. Oh, wow. I don't know who felt that more. Mr. Zombie or me. Sinuses are all kinds of cleared out right now. Oh my God. Dude. Okay, we're, be we're 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 doing this frame by frame. My God. Dude, we're doing this frame by frame. There's nothing left. All right, here we go. You can actually see it going in. Look at that. Look at that. All right, impact in. Boom, right there. Dude. What? even is this it hits so hard i don't think you're walking away oh my god Just evaporated. Just absolutely evaporated. Oh, we got another angle. Dude, there's so just So I'm going to go ahead and say that the 950 JDJ Fat Mac is the most destructive firearm I've had on the channel. I have never seen two torsos get this torn apart in just two shots. And that lead round is really doing a lot of damage. It completely destroyed this zombie torso and then continued on into the berm. Uh, I'm going to try to flip this over. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's, it's a lot of damage. A little unfortunate too because these things are not cheap and neither is 950 jdj ammunition so if you would like to support the channel and see more awesome videos like this be sure and check out my clothing there's a link do in the description it. down below and while you're at it hit that subscribe button do I it i really don't want to dig or put my hand here because of this guy look at that thing I need to load up another round. It even has an egg sack. Ow! Ow! That is what is in my nightmares. Tarantulas <laughs> and eggplants. Ah. Oh, gosh. Okay. We got two. I was thinking, is he going to take off the skulls and do the skulls? This is, this, this Kentuckian does not disappoint. Zombie heads that are still good. So I say we set these things up and we take one more shot. What do you think? Please stop. <laughs> uh, let's ride the lightning one more time. Okay. 
It just feels like a car wreck. There we go. This feels like a car wreck every time. Oh! Oh! I think I may have just nicked them. I think all you needed to do was nick them. So I may have just nicked those zombie heads, but that still did a lot of damage. Uh, I believe this is contestant number one. And number two, well, number two is a lot worse off. So what I've learned yeah, today a little is bit. the 950 JDJ Fat Mac is delivering a tremendous amount of injury. I mean energy <laughs> to your target and also to your shoulder. Well, I think that's going to conclude today's video. I missed my target. I know after today's video, you are not going to be satisfied. You want to see more 950. Well, let me know what you want to see me blast with it next in the comment section down below. Yeah! Aids together strong! Aids together strong! Yes! Sometimes you just gotta go point blank. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and follow me on all social media platforms. There's links to those in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. Nice. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time. Get, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This is why YouTube exists. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'll said it before, I'll say it again, and I don't care how many times I gotta say it. The sheer fact is... Oh my god. This... Hold on, let me, let me back up to where we were at. I gotta see this again. This right here. Yeah, let me hit. Let me hit it, please. And by the way, thank you to you guys for telling me how to actually do this. Cause my God. Okay, let's see. So there's the round hits, goes through. You see it there. Hits again. But the impact here, it was. It might have been spinning it does look like it was spinning so when it came out of the first zombie it looked like it might have been going sideways or something yeah it might have been going sideways in fact it probably was considering the way that it, that opened up but look at look at that you could drive a Honda Civic through that thing, okay? Warpugs, this is what we need against the Tyranids. We need to figure out a way around the recoil, but this is what we need against the Tyranids. Lead or solid shot, pick your poison. I have nothing to say. I have seen... I... Guys, ever since you got me into this, into into GunTube, I have been so pleasantly surprised and happy about all of it. Um, this has been, it, this is just an absolute thrill ride. And um, the amount of tables he has destroyed pleases me because I have those same tables sitting right here. That's what I record on because I don't have a desk. Because we've been holding off on getting me a desk until we move. Because we were supposed to be moved a month ago at this point. Somebody, I, I, I don't know what's going on.
I don't know what's going on, but good God, that's amazing. Warpugs, head on over to Kentucky Ballistics. His links are in the description below. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this because, huh. And um, shoulder pain. Extensive amounts of shoulder pain. I would remember. I remember when I was in the military, going down and shooting, like shooting shotguns for a couple of hours, coming back and feeling like I had been thrown inside. Like my entire right side of my body had met the business end of a Ford Bronco going sixty miles an hour. I don't even want to know what shooting this thing is like. I don't even want to know what shooting this thing is like. I'm gonna head out from here. I hope you guys have a good day. Check my links in the description below for merch. Ooh, platoon shirts up. Weebsy for free, and I'll catch you guys next time.